So you're running a Google Ads campaign, it's running perfectly fine, you're generating leads, impressions and clicks are coming in, then over time or even suddenly you start realizing your impressions are dropping. Now, is it something you did? Is it something out there? Is something wrong with your campaigns? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break down the main reasons your campaigns could be losing impressions and understand whether or not it's something you can fix or even should fix. So you'll learn all of that and more coming up. Hey guys, Darren Taylor of TheBigMarketer.com here and my job is to make you a digital marketing expert. Now, if you're new to the channel, I'm a trainer and consultant specializing in digital marketing, mostly in search engines, providing tips and insights. So if that sounds of interest to you, you should consider subscribing to the channel. And in this video, we're taking a look at impression drops in your Google Ads campaigns. You're running a campaign, over time you're realizing your ads are being shown less or even suddenly you're realizing your ads are being shown less. So what is the cause of that and what can you do? Well, let's take a look at some of the most common reasons your ads could be losing impressions. The first thing to note is that changing some of the elements in your campaign can result in a drop in impressions. For example, if you've lowered your budget, if you've lowered your bids, if you've changed your bidding strategy, if you've added a bunch of negative keywords, all of these things can have an impact on your impression share. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing if your impressions are dropping because by, by making those changes to your bids, your budget, to your negative keywords, they could all be things that are either necessary or things that will improve the cost per lead, which will mean you get less impressions, but your cost per lead or cost per sale is going to be better. So it's a bit of a balancing act. It doesn't necessarily mean that because your impressions are dropping, it's always a bad thing. So I thought I'd get that out of the way at the beginning because a lot of these videos talking about impression share drops talk about making obvious changes to your account. Let's discount those straight away and say that those changes are usually positive ones in your account. The main reason I often discover why campaigns are losing impressions when nothing I mentioned before has changed is when there's a change in the market itself. So when you look at your reporting in your campaigns, if you start to notice your impressions dropping, it could be an external force as opposed to something you've done on your campaign. So let me explain that to you. The first thing you need to do is take a look at your auction insights report. If you don't know where this report is, if you go into Google Ads, go into your campaigns, you'll see auction insights as one of the options. Now with this report, it's really, really good. In fact, I made a whole video about the auction insights reports. I've linked up in the description below. So take a look at that one. But ultimately what you want to do is look over time and benchmark maybe week by week or even day by day around the time you noticed your impressions dropping. Notice your impression share versus your competitors. Now, if all of a sudden your competitors are getting higher impression shares than you, and you pinpoint that you're losing impressions at the same time, then it's highly likely your competitors are being more aggressive. When we, we mentioned at the beginning of the video that if you increase or decrease your budget or your bids, it can affect your impressions. The same goes for your competitors. If they increase their budgets, and increase their bids, they're going to get more impressions. So if all of a sudden your competitors are bidding more aggressively, you're gonna get pushed down the page and in addition to that, you're not going to show as often because of course the impression share or the share of impressions available have been pushed more in the direction of your competitors because they've pushed their bids up and they've pushed their budgets up. So that can be a huge impact. And the only way you can know that for sure is to check the auction insights report. So be sure to take a look at it because it's a wealth of information. Another reason you could be losing impressions is also external. So not necessarily things you've done in your campaigns, but things that are external to your campaigns. And what I mean by that is, is there a breaking news story that can affect your industry? Has something changed in your industry? Is it seasonal? There are a number of different things that can affect your campaign impressions. For example, here's a perfect example. I'm based in the UK. In the UK, we rarely have good weather. In fact, right now it's cold and it's raining. On the occasions where this weather is great in the UK and it's really sunny, sometimes I see a drop in performance for some of my campaigns because a lot of the time and a lot of campaigns, people use a service when they're doing admin, when they're doing their life admin. For example, if I know I need to do something around my plumbing or get something installed, maybe I've got a new tap I want to get and install into my house. Before I go to Google and search for a plumber, I need a moment. I need to sit down and understand, 
I need to tick all the boxes and do my life admin to book these kinds of things in. If the weather is good, more than likely in the UK, I'm going to be out the house. That has been a seasonal trend I've seen. and I'm sure there are tons of others similar to this affected by the weather. Maybe it could be bad weather. Maybe your services focus around things being normal. And then all of a sudden you're hit with a powerful storm or some kind of issue. Or maybe people are preparing for a bad storm or a typhoon or something along those lines. All of these things can affect your impressions in your campaign. So keep your ear to the ground and understand what's happening, not just in your industry, but in life in general. Another thing that can affect your industry or impressions are changes to the law. So for example, in the UK here, there was a big scandal of banks mis-selling a financial product um, and that went wide across the UK. And there was a long period of time where people were claiming back money from the banks for mis-selling this financial product. But the government have recently announced that there's a deadline for claiming your money back for the mis-selling of this product. Therefore, that had a big surge in the industry. And then of course, once the deadline passed, the industry died. So that is an example of a law change or a factor that could affect your campaign performance and impressions. So keep your ear to the ground and understand your industry. Now, there are other things that are more obvious as to why your impressions have dropped, because of course, another thing to look at is your geo targeting. If you've made any changes to your targeting in terms of bid adjustments to different areas of your campaign targeting, Say, for example, you know for sure people in a certain zip code perform worse than someone else in a different zip code and you've adjusted your bids based on zip code. You're going to expect to get less impressions in a zip code you've dropped the bids in compared to one you've increased or kept bids the same in. So it's important to understand your changes to your campaigns that can have an impact on your impressions as well. So make sure your geo targeting is correct. Make sure that if you have done bid adjustments to your geos, that they're positive and impact your CPA in the right way. If they're not impacting your CPA positively and you're losing impressions and sales, you might have been too aggressive in your adjustments. So double check your geos, double check your geographical bidding as well. Now, finally, the last reason your impressions are probably dropping is a lot more technical and takes a lot more time to diagnose and understand. You need to know where to look for this data I'm about to explain to you, and that is your quality score might have dropped. Now, if your quality score drops, it means that compared to your competitors in the overall auction, the quality of your ad in terms of your expected click-through rate, your landing page experience, all of those factors that make up your quality score have changed in comparison to your competitors. Because here's the thing, if you think your ads are running fine and there are no issues, you haven't made any edits, and your quality score changes, the reason it changes is because your quality score is calculated against your competitors. It's all about the auction. If you have eight competitors bidding for the same term, quality score plays into that. If one of your competitors has really worked, or I guess even if more of your competitors have really worked on their click-through rate, improving their ads, improving their landing page, that can impact your quality score. The reason being because your quality score is based on the auction itself. It's based not just on your landing page relevancy and how things are with your ads, it's also based on expected click-through rate. And the expected click-through rate is impacted by your competitors. If they're running a promotion, if they've got more compelling ad copies, they can have an impact on your quality score. So what you need to do is go into your account, make sure you've got your quality score historical column highlighted in your reporting and your main quality score column and look at the changes over time. Now, if you notice your quality score for some of your leading keywords is changing from maybe sevens and eights down to fives and sixes, you know that you've been negatively impacted by fluctuations in your quality score that you will need to fix. And as you know, when you have a lower quality score, Google gives you a lower ad rank and you need to push your bids up even higher in order to recapture some of those impressions you might lose. That's something you might not be prepared to do because it can impact your CPA or it might be something you don't want to do anyway because you want to be able to get clicks at a consistent cost. So in order to fix that issue, you need to improve your quality score, revisit your ads, revisit your landing pages and understand how your relevance is working as well. Look at the whole chain of the search term to the keyword to the ad to your landing page make sure that's all maximized and make sure that you're optimizing your quality score because that is usually one of the biggest reasons people start losing impressions is they stop pushing their quality scores forward. Your competitors do that and then they overtake you and it negatively impacts your campaign performance. So that is how to diagnose low impressions and fix any issues you find with your impression share in your campaigns. Now, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, having less impressions isn't always a bad thing. You've got to focus 
primarily on your cost per lead and the volume of leads you're driving. If you're dropping your impressions based on optimizations you've made and your leads are increasing or your CPA is decreasing, then you've done nothing wrong. Your drop of impressions shouldn't be alarming to you. It should be quite straightforward and something that's actually good for your campaigns. However, now because of this video, you should know how to diagnose if you're losing impressions, what to do and how to fix it if it's out of your control. This video was brought to you by the PPC Accelerator, a PPC training program with over 80 videos of step-by-step -step tutorial content. In addition to that, you get access to three additional courses on top of the Accelerator, which will show you how to use Excel spreadsheets to manage and optimize your Google Ads campaigns. You also get access to a course that shows you exactly how to use the Google Tag Manager to tag and track all your PPC activity. And you also get access to another course showing you exactly how to use Google Optimize to do your landing page, A-B testing and optimizations as well. But the most important part of the Accelerator is you have unlimited access to me. Ask me any question you want about any PPC challenge you're seeing on the course or indeed in your actual business as well. And I'll be more than happy to answer your questions directly within my Ask the Tutor system on the PPC Accelerator. So enroll today and I can't wait to see you on the first module of the Accelerator. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like below. Let me know in the comments if you use the Auction Insights report for your analysis. If you don't, tell me why not, because it's such a valuable report. And again, I've linked up my video explaining this report and how to use it for competitor analysis down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the other content across my channel, and I'll see you guys on my next video.